All right, you guys, welcome back. I'm going to be uh, repairing an Asus motherboard M2A VM. Four bad capacitors. Diagnosis and fix. And so here it is here. So here's the uh, Asus motherboard here. It's a M2A-VM Asus. And these are the four capacitors that uh, I'm looking to replace today. Just got parts in. If you watched my last video, I fixed the uh, an LG monitor and it's up and running right now. So I already had previously marked out the, the capacitors where the uh, you know negative and positives go. So and they are uh, 1000 microfarad 16 volts so I got a bag of 20 I used two of them already today and I'll need four more so let's go ahead and do that got the uh, Hako FR300 and I'm gonna begin Alright, got the capacitor out. 16 volts, 100 or 1000 microfarad. So I'm going to quickly replace it, and they are a little bit fatter, so but you can tell this will blow. Same thing I have to do.
go. Another one. 16 volts. That was a mic ferret. Negative on that side. And it's in. Let's work on the next one. should come out, they're a little bit tight, so I have to use my soldering iron. Alright, got it out. Another 16 volt, 1000 microfarad, if you can see that. I'm gonna have to clean up the pads and stuff. Okay, so it's in there, but uh, a little extra solder in there. Okay. Alright, it's in there. Bend the leads a little bit. I got 12 seconds left, so you guys will be back again for part 2. Alright, these will be mixed together, both these parts here, so there should be no interruption. Now the last one I gotta work on.
just a little bit stubborn here. This is the last 16 volt thousand microfarad. And uh, let's go ahead and throw in some more solder there because the solder joint is, uh, is a little stuck. And then we'll suck that out with the hacko. done. Let's go ahead and solder these leads on. Done. Done. Is done. Let's uh, trim off the uh, heating edges. Place those four capacitors right here with uh, the same values and voltages but they're a little bit bigger so they should withstand everything so anyways this is a Asus M2A VM motherboard so got it going so in another video I'll show you that it, it works and the uh, LG that I did today the monitor that one's good to go to so thank you guys for tuning in, watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.